Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? How's it going? I just ate some I wanna say ramen or ramen? I think it's ramen. Ramen noodles. Um I used to call it ramen noodles, but a friend of mine kinda of pointed it out saying it's ramen, not ramen. And I might I kinda of thought on it and I was just like wait. So it's not ramen noodles. But anyway, I had that for lunch today. Uh, but yeah, it, it's just, I was just hungry and I just had to make me a quick meal. When I saw it out, it's like I don't really try to eat a whole lot. That's the thing. Um, I know I need my. I know I need my to be able to you know get my gains you know that I need for my workouts and stuff like that last night I kind of did my workout at home because it was just too hot anywhere to do anything I did it inside no I did not film it I should have filmed it but I was doing Kempo uh, Kempo Karate um, some of the stuff that I knew out of the system um, a friend of mine kind of taught me a long time ago I mean I told him what system I really want to learn and he taught me on what he knew about the system when he was over here from overseas and so he taught me what he knew out of that system and did I like it? Yes, I did. And to me, Kenpo is more of like dirty fighting. It's more of like free flow of a martial art. Because you're dealing with the animal style base. And you're basically hitting um, the vital areas. You're hitting the targets on the body. Um, you're, you're just fighting dirty just by using an animal system based style and it's kind of like with Shaolin Kung Fu in a way and that's the thing Shaolin Kung Fu man Kempo came from Shaolin Kung Fu and that's where how Kempo came into play and so basically every style of system and that's what the guy said, you know, that was teaching me. He said, every system can, comes from Shaolin. I, he said, I don't care if it's a Japanese art. He said, I don't care if it's a Korean art. He said, I don't care if it's Chinese art. <laughs> or whatever art there is out there that I have not named up in uh, any race system there is. Um, even, in, he said, even in boxing, he said, it does not matter. He said, it all came from Shaolin. <laughs> and, which, you know, come to think of it, you know, to a certain degree, you know what I mean? It's just that a lot of systems did not come from just Shaolin. It could just be made up story, you know, making people believe <laughs> that all styles came from Shaolin, Kung Fu, Shaolin Temple. No, you know, it's like a lot of people study martial arts and, you know, they learn from another individual and maybe the monks, you know, they might have picked it up from an outsider you know, and learn from them, and then they take it back to their temple and say, hey, this is their shower, shower and kung fu. But, the thing of it is, is that, you know, you don't know really where the art comes from, but most people proclaim the art comes from Shaolin, in which, that's the terms that the Chinese passed down to us outsiders, which are 
the Americans, um, African Americans, to Native Americans, whatever race agenda there is, is that they try to pass these stories down to us and, hey, Kung Fu came from Shaolin. Well, Jackie Chan took Jaden Smith in um, The Next Karate Kid, which it shouldn't even be called The Next Karate Kid. It should be called The Next Kung Fu Kid. But um, he told Jaden Smith that everything you do is Kung Fu. The way you breathe in life, the way you walk in life, the way you do your household, household chores and everything else, everything you do in life it is Kung Fu. He says, you just got to learn to live. Which it kind of makes sense. In a way, on what he is saying. And, you know, to me, it's like, you know, when people are saying, you know, it comes from Shaolin. No. The martial art you study yourself comes within you. It don't come from Shaolin. It don't come from the Japanese. It don't come from the Chinese. Whatever system and style you study, whoever you are getting taught, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> morning crap, still in my throat. I still have not been able to get that out. But, um, where was I? That this, this the system that you style study of, um, in any system there is, it does not matter if you learn it from somebody else, but you ain't gonna be able to fight like them. But the thing of it is, you're learning on what they're teaching you to have in your own arsenal, basically to be inside of you what makes you the martial artist of your own of your own way in your own system. Me, my my strategy is is I, I like to punch and kick. You know, I might start out with my kicks and then go with in with my punches. Then I might go back to being, you know, just a puncher. Or I might go back to being a kicker, you know. It does in the stand up game. And I might go into traffic mode. But, you know, when it comes to trying to get in on the inside. Um, and I might do uh, leg sweeps or something like that. But when um, even if it's in wrestling, even if somebody tries pinning me down, I mean, I would always try to still figure out a way to get out of it. Um, but have, am I Am I any good at wrestling? No. It's just natural reflexes. It's just like, I want to, you know, get faster, get maneuver and stuff like that. But that's the thing. It's just, it just comes natural when you're trying to get out of a tight situation. So, you do it your own way. You don't do it how anybody else teaches you. So, when people say, oh, you, you study this art, you know, like, who really cares what style of system you study? As long as, it know, as long as you know that it works for you and you do it in your own way and, and you take what is useful and you apply it into your own training, then it could be useful toward you to your own advantage because you're putting everything that you know of the system yourself instead of just, you know, hey, I want to learn this style. 
and I want to be good in this amount of many days. But I want to do it when I can, whenever I can, and when I feel like it. No, it don't work that way. It it works when you want to train an hour every night. You know, on your techniques, on wherever you want to, you know, be as a standard fighter or even a ground ground game. Uh, um, all out fighting, wherever it may be of your system. Um, me, I don't really have a system. I mean, I, you know, I, I study two systems and, and I do have ranks in them and which I'm a black belt in uh, karate, a ATA, Taekwondo Association, their system of karate. And then I went into WTF no, ITF, uh, ITF, International Taekwondo Federation, got up the red belt and that, but when I was kind of watching some karate videos of learning self-defense, and I was kind of doing some of the patterns, like the forms and stuff, off the DVD, and it reminded me so much of my Taekwondo forms that I was practicing, and, and I was just like, wait, this is, this reminds me of the same system. So, it's like, so basically karate and taekwondo are the same system. They're just called different names. It's so one style does of the opposite of what the other style. Taekwondo does more kicking. Karate do, does more punching and kicking. And, in you know, Wing Chun, it just does trapping and, you know, going in on the inside of close rings with the straight blacks and some leg kicking movements and footwork. And Karamagal, it's more of like military survival tactics. It's more of like um, survival for the street. You can do knife disarm, collie, you can do which is stick fighting, you can do uh, kickboxing, you can do crown game, you can do uh, Whatever it is you need to do to survive for the streets or into a military conflict situation. Um, but whatever system you study, it's in your own way. It's not as your instructor's way. You may t learn from your instructor. But really, technically, you gotta do it in your own way on how you want to do it. So, what I'm saying is, is that, you know, try, try to find your own way of doing things. And, you know, come to the point, you know, or come to the realization that each system itself is just the same thing. You know, Jiu-Jitsu is basically just wrestling. Um, it's not, um, it's not anything like, they just changed the name, that's all it is, you know, it's just like, that's how they get different systems, you know, try to evolve over the years and over the decades, is that they just give it a name and then it's called something else, and they're like, oh yeah, let's call it this, and, you know, I guess their name, uh, a better market sell and stuff like that, you know, to get, you know, to know their system of fighting. And, but, it all comes in from you. It don't come from the system itself. And on what you know of your knowledge. Um, 7th on 4, signing out. And I'll see you in the next video. And, so like I said, just, you know, wherever you study it in the martial arts, it, it's all up to you. You know what you you can develop from the system itself, not from the sensei to the student, but only it only comes from yourself. From learning martial arts in, in in general, and me when I first started out, I learned from books, and then once I got tired of learning from books. 
and I started learning from friends. And then once I started learning from friends, then I was like, okay, well, I'll go to the school. And once I started going to the schools and learn, which I wasn't really learning anything, it was just doing the same things that I was learning myself. So, but it's okay to go to a school. I'm not saying it's not okay, but you already learn the system of the same system that you're doing uh, a self-defense situation. But, you know, 9 out of 10, most of the time in a self-defense self situation, you're only doing one or two moves out of a training session you do out of the day. You know, mostly it starts out with boxing, maybe a little bit of kickboxing, and then sometimes it might just go to a wrestling takedown, not even really be grab one. You know, and this might just be, okay, you know, enough is enough to punching. Let's go and throw a tape down. And then that'll usually end the fight because they don't really want to end up being on the ground. So, whatever martial art you study, it comes from you. It don't come from your instructor. Yes, your instructor is the corner of the way, but... It's all very up to you. I'll see you in the next video. Seven Donald Four signing out. And like I said, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit that bell notification. It's like um, with that one black martial artist, um, the Last Dragon in that movie. Uh, Leroy Junior. Um, he kept looking around for a master, you know, teaching him the kung fu after his master said he was the one that is the master, and he didn't want to believe it. And toward the end, he said, I'm the master when he was fighting the villain. Well, he came to realize that he was the master. But really, technically, what makes you a master is that you got to find your own passion and how you train to be able to study each technique into your own arsenal to be a better fighter is used to what works best for you and, and call your own way. Seven Tom Four signing out. Please hit the like and subscribe and peace.